The Leclerc Scorpion, or XLR, is a modernized version of the French-made Leclerc main battle tank, designed and manufactured by the French company, previously known as Giot Industries. In March 2015, the French Army Defense Procurement Agency awarded Nexter Systems a renovation contract for the Leclerc main battle tank. This order constitutes the third operation launched by the French Ministry of Defense under the Scorpion program intended to modernize the French Army's contact forces. Valued at approximately 330 million euros, the contract provides for the delivery of 200 renovated Leclerc tanks and 18 renovated DLC armored recovery vehicles based on Leclerc main battle tanks from 2020. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the Leclerc main battle tank and see what improvements are planned to bring it to the standard of Leclerc XLR. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, Remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The Leclerc main battle tank is among the best main battle tanks in the world. It was developed by Giant Industries as a successor to the AMX-30 series tanks and was named in honor of General Philippe Jacques Leclerc, commander of the French Armored Division during World War II. Its development began in 1978 and the first prototypes were built in 1989. The first production of the Leclerc was completed in December 1991 and handed over to the French Army in January 1992. Since 1990, more than 850 such combat vehicles have been produced, and at the time of their birth, Leclerc was the most expensive main battle tank of its time. The tank is used in the French Army the United Arab Emirates, and Jordan. The goal of the Scorpion program is to maintain the Leclerc main battle tank in service with the French armed forces beyond 2040. According to military sources, the first two prototypes were planned to be completed in 2018, and the remaining 198 main battle tanks will be upgraded from 2020 through 2028. The upgraded Leclerc will have more firepower and protection. In addition, Upgrading its protection through the development of specific armor kits will enable the Leclerc tank to better cope with the evolution of threats, especially improvised explosive devices. Perhaps one of the strangest things about this main battle tank is that it was built for the French army, and yet only around 222 Leclerc main battle tanks are in service in the French military. The French military is still considered one of the most powerful in the world, despite its limited experience. Contrasting that is the United Arab Emirates, who has some 388 Leclerc tanks in service, and Jordan has another 80. In one Western exercise, dubbed the Iron Spear exercise back in October of 2019, the Leclerc tanks outperformed and surpassed its other Western counterparts. Like all other current Western main battle tanks, the Leclerc was originally designed as a third generation main battle tank. There are four main battle tank generations, with a few new tanks like the Russian T-14 Armada being considered the fourth generation. However, the Leclerc tanks that have been upgraded to the Leclerc XLR variant are considered to have been modernized to the fourth generation standard. Tanks can be continuously upgraded for many years. However, these upgrades can put a lot more weight on the tank, reducing its mobility. This has happened to the M1 Abrams tanks. The renovated Leclerc XLR will keep the same armament as the standard Leclerc tank, which consists of a Giot 120mm 52 caliber smoothbore gun designated the CN-120-26. The gun is fitted with a thermal sleeve and a compressed air system for blowing out propellant fumes. The turret is equipped with an automatic loading system that contains 22 rounds of ready-use ammunition, normally loaded from outside through a small hatch in the back of the turret bustle. The XLR will be able to fire two main types of 120mm ammunition, the armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo with a muzzle velocity of 1,790 meters per second, and high-explosive anti-tank with a muzzle velocity of 1,100 meters per second, both having a semi-combustible cartridge case containing a dual-base solid propellant. Nexter has also developed a new type of 120 millimeter high-explosive rounds, designated HEH3M, that can be set for impact, delay, and airburst function. A 12.7 mm machine gun is mounted coaxially with the main armament. This powerful machine is also fitted with a remotely operated weapon station mounted on the top of the turret, 
which is armed with a 7.62 mm machine gun. The layout of the XLR variant is similar to the previous version of the Leclerc tank, with the driver at the front of the hull, the turret in the center with the gunner on the right, the commander on the left, and the power pack at the rear. The XLR is upgraded with a new armor package that includes additional modular armor on the hull and the turret. The front part of the hull is protected by thick passive armor, while the rear part is fitted with wire cage armor to protect the engine compartment against attacks of rocket-propelled grenade. It will have an increased combat weight of 57,000 kilograms and a length of roughly 10 meters gun forward a width of nearly 4 meters, and a height of roughly 2.5 meters turret roof. The XLR will use the same power pack as the standard Leclerc tank, which consists of a SACOM V8X 1500 hyperbar diesel engine, developing 1500 horsepower, coupled to a CSUM ESM500 fully automatic transmission with 5 forward and 2 reverse gears and hydrostatic transmission. The suspension consists on each side of six road wheels, the drive sprocket at the rear, idler at the front, and track return rollers. The tank can run at a maximum road speed of 72 kilometers an hour, an off-road speed of 50 kilometers an hour, with a maximum cruising range of 615 kilometers. It can negotiate a vertical obstacle of one and a quarter meters maximum, a gradient of 60%, a slide slope of 30%, and engineered trench of 3 meters maximum. This new variant will be equipped with an open electronic architecture, the new combat tactical radio system, NBC protection system, night vision equipment, and the Scorpion information and command system, and associated displays. The renovated Leclerc will also be fitted with the Barrage Counter IED Jammer, Scorpion Diagnostic Testing Device, coupling of inertial navigation and GPS systems, new man-machine interfaces for commander and gunner, a redesign of main system computers, and a health and usage monitoring system. The Barrage is built around a new generation jammer that prevents improvised explosive devices from being detonated by remote control. The moment an IED is detected, it jams radio signals across a wide range of frequencies without interfering with the radio communication systems used by friendly forces. The laser warning system is now coupled to the multi-spectral GALAX passive countermeasures system. The effectiveness of GALAX and its munitions resides in its capacity to mask vehicles for threat protection, laser designator, laser beam rider, laser rangefinder, thermal camera, etc in not only the visible range, but in laser and infrared from 0.4 to 14 microns. The system is intended to detect any kind of laser threat thanks to its four detectors installed on each side of the vehicle with the possibility to deploy a fifth one dedicated to aerial threats. The detectors specify the kind and direction of the laser threat. 24 launch tubes ensure a full 360 degree coverage and the Galax 13 ammunition provides an immediate multi-band smoke screening protection with effective durations ranging from 40 seconds to two minutes, according to environmental conditions and covers. A control box is integrated into the battlefield management system, and the system can be used in manual or automatic mode. As with the previous Leclerc tank, the Leclerc XLR will keep a fire control system that includes a modular thermal imaging camera, Thales Optronics HL58 laser rangefinder, and stabilized sights for the commander and gunner. The gyro-stabilized gunner's sight, SAGEM HL60, combines low-drift gyroscopes, high-precision digital angular sensors, digital processors, advanced sensors, a Thales Optronics laser rangefinder, and thermal camera. The tank commander has a SAGEM HL70 gyro-stabilized panoramic sight, including an intermediate unit, an aiming sight, and an electronic unit. The sight head includes a Galilean system for changing the field of view 20 degrees or 5 degrees for magnifications of 2.5 power and 10 power. It includes a second generation image intensifying night channel with a magnification of 2.5 power and a 13 degree field of view. The sight can recognize a target at 4,000 meters and identify it at 2,500 meters. The French are currently working on developing a replacement tank, but that is not expected to come into service until around the year 2035. This project 
is dubbed the Main Ground Combat System and is a co-production by both France and Germany. What do you think of the Leclerc XLR? Are there any other feats of engineering you'd like to see us cover? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.